The largest megastructures in the world are massive feats of architecture and innovation that require many years, money, and some of the world's most brilliant minds to complete. If you ever have the chance to see any of these mind-blowing constructions, it'll be an experience to remember, as these massive buildings show how far humanity has advanced in the fields of technology, architecture, engineering, and construction. So, let's take a look at the world's most incredible high-tech megastructures. First on the list is The Edge. This structure is a revolutionary, innovative office space that's pushed the boundaries of responsiveness, well-being, sustainability, and construction costs. The Edge was built by PLP Architecture, with a priority on sustainability, as well as providing people with a lively and pleasant environment. This building is one of the smartest and most sustainable buildings in the world, and it's received the highest sustainable ranking ever from the British rating organization Bream, which evaluates the sustainable value of projects, buildings, and operations. And in case you're already wondering, what's so special about this building that makes it stand out? That would be energy efficiency. The Edge can produce more energy than it consumes, thanks to the 6,000 square meters of solar panels on its roof, on its south-facing walls, and some on other frameworks of the building. Furthermore, the building features a special heating and cooling system based on two 129-meter deep wells that connect to an aquifer that stores and distributes energy through a network of cables in the roof of each story. And mind you, it uses a lot less energy than conventional heating and cooling systems. This building is so high-tech that it has over 28,000 sensors contained in its LED panels that form a special artificial neural network that tracks motion, light levels, temperature, humidity, and even carbon dioxide. Wow! And that's not all. The data gathered from these sensors enables an effective allocation of cleaning and maintenance tasks as it helps identify places that require these services. Moreover, the atrium functions as a sound barrier to insulate the building from noise from the neighboring freeway and train tracks, in addition to offering a spacious entrance for natural light. Another amazing thing about its sustainability level is the fact that even local rainwater is reused to fill the facility's toilets and water their gardens. What more can you expect from a high-tech building? Here's what. The building's also connected to a smartphone app created in collaboration with Deloitte that finds you a spot in the free parking lot locates a free desk, and adjusts the lighting and temperature to suit your preferences. So if you think you'll be deprived of comfort to attain sustainability, this building proves otherwise. Second on our list is the glamorous new Apple campus. When it comes to Apple, you can never expect less. Being one of the biggest companies in the world, it's no surprise that it has one of the most well-known megastructures around the globe. Apple's new campus is a tremendous illustration of a technological advancement that can lessen earthquake shaking by as much as 80%. It houses more than 9,000 engineers and other Apple workers, and has its own electrical source and a sizable atrium with a variety of fruit trees, many of which are apple trees, which is not that surprising. Its technological advancement is shown by the solar panels on the roof, and the fact that it's powered by a low-carbon central plant that produces electricity on campus from low-carbon sources like biofuels. With a construction cost of over $5 billion, it uses base isolation technology that keeps it apart from the Earth's surface and prevents earthquake damage. And according to the New York Times on Tuesday, the isolation system consists of 692 enormous stainless steel saucers that are buried two stories below the Earth. So in the event of an earthquake, the saucers will move up to four feet in either direction, preventing damage. Apple's campus is also constructed with the biggest curved glass panels in the world. These glass panels reduce glare and let people inside enjoy views of the outside. It's indeed a tech paradise. Another fascinating structure is the shape-shifting apartment by designers at the Portuguese architectural firm Consexto. This high-tech building is a revolutionary space-saving solution. Residents can alter the layout of the apartment by adjusting the size of the rooms, thanks to the invention of movable walls. So if you have visitors, you can move the room's walls to make it larger to fit everyone. And your dinner parties or late-night movie marathons aren't left out. You can quickly enlarge any of the rooms in this shape-shifting room thanks to its movable walls. Or if you're just bored with your usual layout, all you need to do is hit a switch, and the house instantly transforms right in front of you. Next is the world's first energy-positive building, the Powerhouse Kjorbo by Snoheta. This building is the world's first energy-positive building, and it was created through the rehabilitation work done by the Norwegian architecture company Snoheta on an existing 1980 structure in Bærum, just outside of Oslo. This massive structure serves as its own power plant and produces twice as much energy as its operations use. Yes, twice as much! But how is this even possible for such a massive building? 
The building has 200,000 kilowatts of on-site photovoltaics, with wells and heat pumps that are used to supply energy for insulation and illumination. They managed to construct a net positive structure by extending the roof beyond the footprint of the building's foundation in order to maximize the size and angle at which the solar panels could be placed. Additionally, more solar panels were added to the building's south-facing front, and it's anticipated that the structure will produce roughly 260,000 kilowatts of electricity annually, and any extra energy produced is sold back to the neighborhood grid. Shifting our attention from buildings, let's take a look at the Three Gorges Dam in China. This dam is one of the world's biggest hydropower complex projects, located in the Xiling Gorge. The dam generates 22,500 megawatts of power, with the help of 32 turbines and two engines. And over 37 billion US dollars were spent on it by the government, so you can imagine how magnificent it'll be. This gigantic dam is a magnificent example of human engineering that provides energy to a very large population. No dam has attracted as much attention as the Three Gorges Dam, which is so enormous that it has literally slowed the Earth's rotation. Yes, it's that big! The dam is over 600 feet tall and 7,661 feet long and is made of pure, solid steel and concrete. To build this enormous dam, engineers needed 510,000 tons of steel. For comparison, this same amount of material can construct 60 different Eiffel Towers. And as you may have guessed, the dam was designed for three primary functions, which are flood control, the generation of hydroelectric power, and improved navigation. Over 34 enormous generators are used by the Three Gorges Dam to supply energy to millions of people. This is equivalent to a power plant using up to 50 million tons of coal or 25 million tons of crude oil. The Three Gorges Dam is estimated to produce so much energy that it could theoretically provide for all of China's energy needs. That's right, the sight of this dam alone will leave you dumbfounded. This next megastructure will excite all football lovers. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. This outstanding stadium contains a plethora of amazing technological features that'll make fans of other teams quietly envious of the new space. One of the best features of the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is its brand new cutting edge retractable pitch. The stadium has two fields, one for football, also known as soccer, and the other for American football and it can switch between them using a massive mechanized procedure that divides the field into three, removes it, and replaces it with a different field that's ideal for the game in question. Apparently, no cost was spared in building Tottenham Hotspur's new 850 million pound stadium, which is jam-packed with cutting-edge technology and pays homage to its previous home. With advancements from the seats all the way down to the playing surface, it's been called the most high-tech football stadium in the world, and you'd agree that it's unique. The groundskeeper is more of a scientist than a horticulturist because he pays equal attention to the players and the playing field, using the most recent groundskeeping technology to create the ideal playing surface. And to ensure that every blade of grass is illuminated, a 120-ton lighting system with 863 lamps is stretched over the pitch. And in a similar manner, underground LED lights are used to maintain grass growth when the grass field is stored beneath the surface. So even though it might stay stored underneath for as long as a month, it comes out perfectly fine. It doesn't stop there. You know the old-fashioned blackboard used to go over strategies before games? It's been replaced with a touchscreen TV. And that's not all. The auditorium and press conference room can also function as a cinema. And with their top-notch Wi-Fi connectivity, you'll never have to worry about missing a tweet. The Tottenham Stadium has magnetic technology that pumps over 10,000 beers per minute directly into the bottom of the glass, which has been installed in several of the stadium's bars. And they have a new app created by London-based LiveStyled with a navigation system to help users find their seats as well as an interactive stadium map. What an amazing display of technology, style, and innovation. Next up is the Boeing Everett plant. The Boeing 747, which is the largest wide-body jet aircraft ever produced, was built at the Boeing Everett plant. When they wanted to build and assemble these enormous airplanes, they had to build an equally enormous megastructure as well. The Boeing Everett plant has a volume of about 13 million cubic meters, making it the world's largest megastructure in terms of volume. It was so large that clouds began to develop below the ceiling due to the buildup of warm and damp air inside. They solved this problem by installing cutting-edge air circulation systems. This factory can contain over 40,000 people as they assemble some of the most recognizable Boeing aircraft, such as the 747, 767, 777, and 787 Dreamliner. It has six doors on its south side, 
four to the west that are 300 feet wide and 82 feet high, and two to the east that are 350 feet broad and 82 feet high. The doors are so massive that it takes around five minutes for them to fully open with a simple button. The Boeing Everett plant also has a two-mile complex network of tunnels beneath the floor that house the water, sewer, and electrical supplies, and also permit employees to move around the building without interfering with the production of airplanes. It's bigger than any factory you've ever seen. Hang on, this list would be incomplete without including the majestic Bahrain World Trade Center by Atkins. When you take a look at the Bahrain World Trade Center, all you see are the two towers, right? Well, take a closer look, and you'll realize that those two towers are joined by three bridges that support three wind turbines. The Bahrain World Trade Center is the first significant structure to employ wind power to meet its energy requirements. The three wind turbines can produce 11 to 15 percent of the building's annual energy needs, or 1100 to 1300 megawatts, when they're operating at maximum capacity. Bahrain recognized it as a building with the best use of technology. It's the first smart building in Bahrain, along with using reflective pools at the entrances to offer local evaporative cooling. It also uses heat recovery systems, variable volume chilled water pumps, energy efficient fluorescent lighting, solar powered roads and amenity lights, and energy efficient fluorescent lighting. It's certainly the first one in the world to be designed with this kind of technology on such a massive scale. If you had the opportunity to see any of these massive structures, which would be your pick? Let us know in the comments section below. See you later!